Kaijin Azraddin often appears as a whimsical and yet wise mystic who is said to have lived in Turkey in the 13th century. His witty and slightly unexpected responses bring a smile. One morning while he was walking in the bazaar, Kaijin Azraddin was asked, Oh Koja you are so wise. Tell us why God did not give wings to camels so we could travel faster. Koja shot back, give thanks to God Most High that he did not give the camel wings. For, had he given them, they would have perched upon your houses and chimneys, and have caused them to tumble upon your heads. Koja's unusual wit is laugh aloud funny. Here's another story in which Koja Nasruddin entertains us with hilarious doings. Koja's neighbor had constructed a high wall, and Koja missed their mutual bantering because of it. One day the Koja taking a ladder on his shoulder, placed it against his neighbor's garden wall, and mounting, got over, taking the ladder with him. The gardener seeing him said, Who are you? And what do you want here? I am come to sell this ladder, said the Koja without hesitation. Is this a place for selling a ladder? said the gardener. Oh, you foolish man, said the Koja, cannot a ladder be sold anywhere? The neighbor was so disarmed that they laughingly invited Koja for tea. Koja Nasruddin's extraordinary wit held such strength that even those who intended harm found themselves bewildered by his unforeseen responses, ultimately choosing to leave him be. In one such instance, Koja had to travel outside his village, and he was journeying alone. While passing near a cemetery he saw some horsemen approaching from far. Koja immediately ran back to the cemetery, took off his clothes, and lay down in an open grave. The horsemen, on seeing the Koja run away, followed him to the place where he lay, and said, O oh fellow, why do you lie here? Koja, replied, I am one of the buried people. I had thought of taking a walk but now I came back to rest. The horsemen were disarmed by his unexpected comeback and simply rode away leaving the Koja in peace. Koja Nasruddin's stories teach us that we can figure things out in tricky situations if we keep our wits about us. It's about being creative and thinking outside the box to solve problems, even if it seems a bit unusual.